Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do the unboxing for this HTC One S and I know that it's been a while since this phone has been launched but the problem in India was that when this phone was launched it was launched for about 32 to 33,000 and that was very high for this phone. Now HTC has uh, reduced this price and in India you can get this phone for approximately 25,000 rupees. So I feel it's a great price for this phone because this phone is pretty fast. And before unboxing, I just want to thank Faisal Communications for providing this unit for review. And if you notice, this is an India specific uh, boxing and hence it says facebook.com slash HTC India. And the internal storage in this phone is 16 GB, but we do get 25 GB of online storage courtesy of Dropbox. It says that it's for two years. And uh, if we move to this side of the box, we just get the camera it has 8 megapixel camera and uh, it's supposed to be a very good camera and if you see the specifications over here uh, it sports a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor uh, do note that uh, in india this phone is uh, using the snapdragon s3 processor in the international version it uses the s4 processor that's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and it accepts a micro sim and it has 1 gb of internal uh, ram so let us quickly open up the box and let's see before opening the box uh, let me show you this the mrp price quoted on the box is 39,199, but you can get this for 25,000. so let's open up the box and right away we get this htc 1x and it's a beautiful piece let me get back to it later on and let's see what else do we get this box opens and we have what this is a my uh, what do you say earphones but sadly these are just ordinary earphones not beats audio we have the htc branded charger the micro usb cable and some documentation so let me put all these boring things to the side and let's quickly look at the phone itself and uh, right away while holding this phone i can tell you it's great quality let me just zoom in a little bit one more thing is that the battery is not uh, user replaceable or it does not have a micro SD card. Uh, so let us uh, try to power on this unit. Let's see if it has any charge. I doubt it will have some charge. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have any charge. Uh, I'll charge it. But uh, before that, let me give you an overview. On the top, we have this 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, we have the noise cancellation mic also. And uh, we have an indent here. We can open this. And this top portion comes out and you can just put a, a micro sim here it accepts a micro sim and i'm going to insert my micro sim here and it goes in here like this and that's it nothing else is removable so let me put back this back cover and moving on we have the htc branding and it says beats audio and uh, the phone does not have any charge so let me just quickly charge it and i'll come back now i've charged the phone a little bit let's try to power it on now and it powers on and we have the sticker of htc 1s i'm just going to remove the same now and uh, this phone sports a super amlet screen uh, that's a bit new for HTC because HTC generally uses the SLCD and it sports a 4.3 inch screen and uh, I have to say uh, holding the phone at the feel is very good and the build quality is very very good everything is really good only this portion that we remove for adding the sim card is plastic and uh, everything other is uh, polycarbonate very similar to HTC One X and even the earpiece grill is laser etched and it's really nice and this is the first boot that we are getting for this HTC One S and uh, the volume rocker is on this side and it's if you notice it's pretty long and on this side we have nothing again on the bottom we just have the microphone hole and the charging slot micro USB slot is on this side and as we have seen the power button is on the top so let me just unlock this phone now and this is the first boot and i'm going to use wi-fi and it quickly asked me to connect to my wi-fi i'll do the same now and it's connected to my wi-fi i hit next and uh, i'm just going to skip not open a htc account 
Google location. I'm going to allow it. And here we see this Dropbox uh, setup. And if you set it up, you'll get 25 GB of storage. I'm going to skip it for now. And we can add a Google account. I'm also going to do the same now. Also, typing on the phone was very comfortable. And I have to say again, the phone gives you a very premium feeling. I'm just going to hit next and I'm just going to hit finish. And out of the box, this phone ships with the Android version 4, that is ICS. But HTC has uh, promised that this phone is also going to get the Jelly Bean update. And we get this HTC help. I'm going to just uh, uh, quit it. And we are booted. And I have to say the Super AMOLED uh, quality is very good. And as we expect from HTC, uh, it's pretty smooth in my opinion let us open the app tray and uh, HTC did uh, decide to put in a uh, quite a bit of apps preloaded like uh, tune and radio sound horn stocks Polaris office is also there so that's nice and uh, flashlight app is also there let us switch it yes it works let me switch off this flashlight let's go back and let's go to the home let's look at the settings and let's go to look at about the phone and, uh, and let's look at the software info and as you can see uh, right now it's running on the android version 4.0.3 with htc sense 4 uh, it's doing a software update so let's look at it uh, after some time what happens i uh, mean in the meantime let me just also show you the storage and the internal storage that we get is 2.21 GB and the phone storage we get is about 10 GB. Again, do note that this phone does not support any micro SD card slot. So this is the storage that you get. So that might be a bummer for some people. Um, but uh, those who can live with the storage, it looks like a good phone. As I'm connected, uh, let's fire up the web browser and it says the system update is ready. So I'm going to just do the system update and come back. So I have rebooted after the system update and uh, we do get this gesture and you can access up to seven home screens on this phone and let me get out of the same. Uh, on the front we have this uh, three touch type capacitive buttons at the bottom that's back home and this is the multitasking tray and this is how the multitasking tray looks like very similar to HTC One X. And uh, as I'm connected to Wi-Fi let me just fire up the web browser and let's see how is the web browsing on this phone and this is the first time i'm running this so let's just quickly go to tech2bus.com and as i said earlier the keyboard is really good and it's very easy to type on this phone oh as you can see it's loading the web pages also pretty quickly so let me just go to this tech2bus.com and if you noticed how quickly it loaded the page brilliantly fast let's try the pinch gesture and as you can see that is also silky smooth and let's open up the story let's change the orientation again the orientation change was also pretty quick and the phone feels very light in your hand and you get that premium feeling uh, if i could say and let's try to play back this video hi there this is ramjeet from techtobus.com and as you can see, it is playing back the video without any issues. So let me just get back. Uh, quickly have a look at the rear facing camera. Uh, it's 8 megapixel shooter and it's supposed to be pretty good. So let's try to fire up the camera app and here it goes. And uh, we do get the tap to focus and it makes that noise and it's pretty quick. Let's let me try to shoot a picture and the battery is low i didn't charge it fully but again as you can see uh, it is pretty quick uh, and directly from this screen you can shoot the video also and i believe this also has that what do you say burst shot let me try that and as you can see it's taking so many shots so the camera app also looks pretty nice i'm just going to delete all this rubbish let's get back so this is the quick unboxing of this htc one s I'll be doing an in-depth review of this phone with complete benchmarking. So if you have any other questions regarding this phone, please post them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.